The Champions League East semi-final in Saitama sees two-time winners from Korea Republic Jumbuk take on fellow two-time Champions League title holders from Japan, the Urawa Red Diamonds. They say all good things come in threes, but which of these two Asian powerhouses will claim their place in this year's final? Well, it's Urawa off to a fantastic start. 11th minute, first real chance of the game. Moberg finding Sakai. Great run from the right back, and he picks out Yusuke Matsuo, who scores his fourth goal of the competition. Fast forward to the 37th minute, and John Book almost getting themselves back on level terms there. Song Min Kyu with a shot from just outside the box, but can't keep the effort down. 1-0 the score in favor of the Reds. Into the second we go, 52nd minute here, and the referee points to the spot. It's a penalty for the Korean side. The foul on Min Kyu would allow Pike Seung Ho to drive the ball hard and low into the bottom left corner. And Jeonbuk have their lifeline and their ticket back into this semi-final. The team in dark green then starting to take control in the second half. Decent opportunity there for Ming Kyu. But the tables turning in injury time as Urawa went searching for a late, late winner. Kasper Juncker on as a substitute denied by Abumso in a goal. Just a minute later, Juncker involved again off the woodwork. Chance here for Isaka with the follow-up and Bumso with a fantastic bit of goalkeeping. Could do nothing about the first effort, but got himself back on the line. And what a clearance that is from the John Book keeper. So a 1-1 after 90 minutes. 120 to be played for the third time running for Jean Book and right at the death it looks like they might have the winner that sends them through to the final. Only on the pitch for a minute, Kyo Won at the near post and into the roof of the net. 120th minute now, scramble inside the box, it's Yonka! 2-2, pandemonium inside Tama. Yunka sending the game into a penalty shootout and with Urawa 2-1 up after three rounds of penalties Jinsu had to score to keep the pressure on the Reds and denied by the woodwork which meant Isaka would have the opportunity to send Urawa through to the final and he was more than happy to oblige as Urawa snatched victory away from Jombuk. What a game!